Hey coaches, in this video we're going to break down how to attack a zone defense based on Coach Don Walter's seven principles of attacking a zone. So let's get started. So the best way is through the high post because in a zone usually the high post area is free and if your big man flashes up, they'll get open, join the defense, a lot of things can happen. So the first option is you want to give it to the high post, they can take a shot or they can take it to the rim. And once they get that respect, then your big man and the high post are going to start drawing attention. And one of the greatest ways is to skip pass back out, a lot of people will be open. For the big man, the principle is very simple. When one goes high, the other one stays low. So here you're going to see the big man flash high. If they don't get the ball, then they have to cut low and the other person flashes high. So always opposite to each other and keep flashing up because if you stand still, it's very difficult to get the ball. So here they get the ball in the low post, it's one on one. The next best option is just simply a fast break. If you run down the floor quicker than the opponent, they don't have time to set up in their zone and the world's your oyster. So the next best option is to penetrate the gaps. So realize where the position of defense is and then pick the open spots and penetrate. So in this 2-3 zone, the weaknesses are on the left and the right of the free throw line, the elbow area. So you're not necessarily looking to score. You kind of want to attack and then draw two defenders to mark you and then kick the ball back out for an open shot. And especially the short corner, that's often open as you'll see here. The short corner and the corners are also weaknesses of the zone defense. In this example, someone's penetrating gap and then the short corner is open. Make sure the big man stays low and close to a baseline because this maintains spacing and gives the guards more room to penetrate and also when they give the pass, it's harder to close out. So being close to a baseline really flattens the defense and makes it hard for a defense to cover the entire zone. Because the way zone usually shifts as a unit, a quick ball movement really kills the zone. So what do we mean by quick ball movement? So skip passes, cross court passes are very effective. Fake passes, sometimes even fake passes are better than passes themselves. And just make sure players try not to catch and hold the ball, right? Uh, we've covered this before, zero seconds, catch the ball, pass, shoot or drive. So on these couple of clips, it's gonna combine several of the elements we talked about short corner, skip passing, penetrating. And one thing we haven't mentioned is uh, never staying in the same place. So you pass and then you relocate uh, depending on where your defense is. So here you get the high post, the penetrating, someone's open, skip pass, pass, quick ball movement, open shot. Here again, you're gonna see people cutting in You got someone in the high post, the penetrating, skip pass, penetrate, relocate in a corner, open shot. Because there's no assignment uh, on the shot, it is very difficult for the defender to find the correct person to box out. So that's why you should rebound aggressively on the weak side every time you take a shot. Because it's really difficult for the zone to box out everybody. Hey, thanks for watching. If you have some input, you want to tell us how you break the zone, please tell me, we'll add it to the video, and please subscribe to our channel. Thank you.